Hey you guys, so it's apparent that I didn't have my camera for a while and that's only because I couldn't find the charger but I found it so we are back in action and um, I'm gonna try and do more videos like on a daily basis for you guys so that you guys are like at least one to two videos weekly hopefully um, yeah so you guys don't have to go and wait so long to see a tutorial so um, this video I want to do like um, kind of like beauty tips and like tricks and kind of like facts for you guys to like use on like every day like um, w whether it's for your eyebrows or for your hair or just for your skin or whatever the case may be so if you guys are interested in listening to some fun like tips and tricks for that just keep watching so um, on brow tweezing if you pluck your eyebrows, sometimes they're like red and like swollen and it's just like not fun at all. So what you can do is, number one, like um, take a shower and like with all the hot water in it, it like kind of stimulates like the hair in the bottom and makes it a little bit easier once you're out of the shower to pluck them. It comes out a lot easier, like a lot smoother so it doesn't hurt you. So that's number one. So when you're taking a warm bath at night before bed or whatever, um, keep in mind that that is like one of the best times to actually tweeze your brows because it won't hurt so much. And um, since the hair tends to grow back thicker and it's like more coarse and thick and it's just like, oh, it, it gets painful sometimes. Um, I always tweeze my eyebrows and till this day I'm still not used to like um, plucking them without it like hurting so bad. So that's one tip. Another tip along with the eyebrows is plugging it before bed just in case um, there is like redness and swelling and all that. When you're sleeping it goes down and you don't, you know, have to wake up to like or go out with like swollen brows are really red and like hey she just got her eyebrows done and it looks funny or whatever. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, another tip is um if you guys use false nails and this is like a hello duh no brainer but if you guys do your nails like us all go okay mine are not done so let's not look at them but if you guys do your nails you guys know that acrylic nails tend to have a lot more bacteria than your natural nails so it's very like important for you to wash them with the um, antibacterial soap or even during the day keep a little bottle of the antibacterial um, gel that they have or whatever so that you guys like when you're eating or when you're doing your makeup you don't get those germs anywhere around your face because it's not healthy so um, a fun kind of thing for people with blue eyes to make the eyes like pop a lot more you want to use like taupe colors maybe grays violets purples or like deep blues and stuff and it like really makes your eyes like stand out like that much more like kind of like if you want like a you see how Megan Fox's eyes like, she's beautiful and her eyes are like it's like this really pretty blue turquoise look I mean it's it's beautiful so if you guys do a little bit more of the deeper colors it makes your eyes pop and like I said taupes light violets deep pur purples and blues and stuff to make your eyes pop for your hair. If you dye your hair and you are so done with like your hair stripping its color because of your shampoo or like you have to do it every four weeks, every like eight weeks or so, you should dye your hair off the bat. You shouldn't dye it more than four times a year. So that means three, yeah, three, let me Ah, went to cosmetology school and I forget all this. So you shouldn't be dyeing your hair like every two months or something. No, it's not healthy for your hair. Um, if you can and you just need like the roots, like do touch-ups on it, then go for it. That's like easier, it's simpler, the time is a lot quicker, it's cheaper, and you're just touching up your roots. Like um, for those who do the blonde hair, I know sometimes it's hard to keep track of like, not to keep track, but keep up with your hair. 
because it goes out so fast. So root touch-ups for blonde hair is definitely like um, a easier solution rather than to dye in the whole hair blonde and like that already, you know, bleaching it out and stuff is bad for your hair. But um, you should be dyeing your hair every three months throughout the whole year and like I said, if you don't have to dye your whole hair like um, the color, try and do just the roots so you don't damage your hair and um, the best shampoos to keep the color on your hair are baby shampoos believe it or not because it does not strip your hair color so keep that in mind so maybe like um, if you wanted to consider getting the Johnson & Johnson's No More Tear Shampoo it smells so good and it doesn't strip your hair color going natural like with natural ingredients so if you guys get like slices of um it has to be raw so a slice of a raw potato you can place it under your eyes to reduce dark circles now this is going to be like obviously it's not going to be okay Christine I did it and it's not gone it's not like it's going to be gone overnight but um, natural things natural ingredients it's not harmful to the skin like chemicals and stuff it slowly but surely like helps you reduce like the if they're really really dark it'll help you lighten up like the pigmentation and stuff so that's one helpful thing and it's natural and it's really inexpensive and I don't know. Um, another like big cause of wrinkles and this kind of like ties into like doing your brows. For those of you that get your eyebrows waxed, some people do such an amazing job. It looks so clean and like crisp, clean cut, just really nice and on point. But the thing with that, over time um, and as you get older, that is one of the big causes of like aging and wrinkles around like the eye area because of all the tugging and pulling and the heat and all that. So if you can and if it's available in your area um, and if you still want like the same look like the clean and it's just like all the hairs are like in place where they should be and no hairs are there that shouldn't be there, um, try doing threading. Threading your eyebrows is one of the faster, it's a faster way of tweezing, you can say. And if not, do the tweezing. Even threading, sometimes I kind of question it because when you're taking like six strands of hair at once and it kind of tugs and pulls a little bit. But it's not as bad as waxing only because like it doesn't have the heat and it's not like so, so rough with like your eye area. So this, you know you know it's a very sensitive area so for you to do all of that to your hair is I mean to your skin is like um like I said over the time is kind of one of the causes of you getting wrinkles and stuff so just a heads up for those that like to wax their eyebrows I mean I don't mean anything wrong by it if you still want to do it and you still like it you know hey I'm not one to say to stop but just kind of uh tip to keep in mind and also that ties into that is protecting your skin in the sun with sunscreen I can't stress it enough only because that is like one of the number one reasons why you get wrinkles because of sun damage and all of that so um, if you can get a foundation uh, let me show get a foundation that has like SPF this one has SPF 6 on it. There's foundations that have like SPF 15, SPF 20. Like, there's just all kinds of things you can do to protect your skin if you want. Like, put it under your foundation and then, you know, put your makeup on top. But try and do whatever you can to protect your skin because, you know, as you get older, you're not going to want like all those wrinkles and look older than you actually are. So, like, when you hit 30, you don't want to look like you're 45, you know? So, I don't know. It's just some fun stuff. I have like so many, but um, I don't want the, this video to run so long. So, um, yeah. I'm going to stop right there, but I promise you I'm going to keep doing these because these are kind of like, these are just like fun facts that can be very useful and very helpful to you guys in like your everyday lives. So, um, yeah, with that being said, that's the end of this video.